Hi, you probably clicked on this video because you were super duper duper bored and you want ideas on what to do when you are super duper bored. So this is why I'm here. I'm here to help you. Yes, welcome. So today I thought that we can be very productive today. Do a bunch of things that are indoors for quarantine, of course, because you know, we don't want to contaminate others or put yourself at risk either. So we're gonna stay indoors, ladies and gentlemen. Well, of course we're also gonna stay like, we're gonna go outside, but it's like my patio. So it's like not even like, it's not necessarily that you're outside just to take like a little breath of fresh air because Jesus Christ, you do not want to just stay in your room like all the time you need some fresh air well i do because then my sanity will leave me today i'm gonna take you on an adventure these are things to do while you are bored you are welcome It got really dark outside. Look. <laughs> you can see me. Ew. Okay, but yeah, it got like really dark outside. So we're taking a break from the painting. We'll come back to it. We'll circle back. But I'm thinking about making s'mores. Would you want to come with me? I'm not hearing a no. It's not like I'm hearing a yes either. But you're coming with me either way. Let's go. I'm gonna set you down here. Oh my god, this is a bad angle. Let's make them. My little fireplace. <laughs> There's chocolate inside, so I didn't need to buy it separately because then I would eat the chocolate first and then I wouldn't have anything else left for the s'mores, let's be honest here. So it's just more convenient that way. Mm. Okay. I'm planning on making cookies tonight, so we will only have one s'more. Now we are going to fill in the boredom of watching shows we have been watching too many shows don't you agree i agree i feel like i've watched literally everything there is to offer at least everything that the entertainment industry has to offer me because literally what makes you not feel bored what do you usually do to fill in the gaps so you won't be bored games yes if you said games we are on the same page you and me same page and I like that. I like that we're on the same wavelength. And if you didn't guess games, well then that's okay. Because after playing some amazing games with me right now, or seeing my amazing gameplay, we will be on the same wavelength. You and me. Just you and me. Connecting. Vibing. Winning. We're gonna get some W's today. This is gonna be a bond. And if we don't win, well that's okay. You know why? Because we learn. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now because I'm stalling because I'm scared of losing. <laughs> I washed my cup recently. And you know what? The water kind of tastes like soap, but let's go ladies and gentlemen. Let's let's get on the server. Let's play some parkour. Let's, let's do some parkour right here, right here, right now. Wow. Okay, well that was rude. You just bumped into me. At least say you're sorry, Jesus. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I fell. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What map are we going to be at? Hopefully not number one. We don't like that one. 
Hopefully number five wins. I'm too lazy to vote, so let's just hope that number five wins. But vote in real life, people. Don't be like me. I, I'm gonna vote in real life. <laughs> I'm just too lazy to vote for a Minecraft map, okay? But I won't be like that in real life. Okay, we're gonna go back here because spawn looks like it's a lot of hard work and you have to like... Whoa, the lag. Okay. Spawn looks like it was a lot of work because you had to, uh, you know, hit some leaves and stuff so you can get to the chest. And you know what? I don't want to do that. <laughs> this is scary. Not gonna lie, I'm scared. I'm hearing a lot of stuff happening behind me and, you know, we are just gonna keep running. You know, if someone comes for me, I'll just slap them with a little raw pork chop. A little raw pork chop action, you know? It's the worst thing to be hit with. You know, chest. I see you. You know what? A raw chicken has bones in it. It's gonna be even harder. Just slap them with a little raw chicken. I hit you with a little beatbox. This is water. Okay, that scared me. I was like, why am I sinking? A chest. I see you. Oh my god. Well, we have a lot of bows, but we do not have an arrow. Someone said my name. Hello. Oh, <laughs> that's good to know that there's people here, actually. Wow. Is there any other chests in here? Oh, hello, I see you. I see a little chest. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now oh, that's what I'm talking about. See, I'm telling you, we are winners here. We have a bow and arrow, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hell yes. Okay, well, we need to eat because Jesus. Take the wheel. Okay, well, now we have a diamond. We'll hit them with a the diamond. Okay, but we probably don't want to display that or else people will come running to me and, you know, kill me. This is a great start, ladies and gentlemen. I'm feeling great about this one. Kind of. Am I talking too much? Talking too soon, probably. Yeah. My PvP skills aren't that great, you know. Six people are still alive, okay. Three more people need to die, and then we go to death match. Good to know, good to know, good to know, good to know. <laughs> I don't know about that one, Sockhead. I don't know about that one. Just wait, I'm gonna die real fast. You know what? No. We're gonna win this time. We're gonna go to death match. Okay, well that's. <gasps> Sockhead, no! We killed you. I will avenge your death, or at least try. <laughs> Cause like I got BBB. Oh my god, I'm scared. I only have like a wooden axe. No, I have a stone axe. Oh, oh my god. Maybe we'll be okay. Just maybe. Maybe. Yes, I am going in circles because I'm literally scared for my life. I hate PVP. Just in real life, I just hate confrontation. You know, I'm just one of those people. You know, I rather just vibes. I- oh, what is that? No, no! Ah. Okay, well, Stone X has more, I think, damage. For Rick! Why am I going to deathmatch right now? I am scared for my life. Who are these people? I'm gonna go- I'm gonna run over here. I'm gonna wait for them to battle it out, because I am way too scared for confrontation. Well, fuck, I'm dying. So that's great. And I'm lagging. Okay, well, I'm gonna wait for them to battle it out, you know. This is not my fight. <laughs> wow, I hate this. Okay, let's run this way. <laughs> oh, two are alive? They already died? Frick. Should I just turn around and do it? Oh fuck, I'm gonna die. <laughs> no, I died. I got second place though. <laughs> That's a good one though, you know. Second place for my first game. <laughs> According to Socket, I did well. <laughs> so. <laughs> I did terrible and we both know it. Shout out to Socket. He's just been here, you know, vibing. You know, you're cool, dude. I freaking love your skin, too. You know, you guys are just vivacious people, and we love it. We're probably gonna do, like, one more game, and then we're probably gonna skip on ahead to 
I don't know what the hell we have else planned. Sockhead Wed and Bino Quarant Quarantino. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, Breeze Island. I hate this one. Literally, I suck every time it has like bodies of water. And that's literally all this map is. So I'm just gonna run up the walls here. That's my tactic. That's my skill. That's my plan. Woo! Oh my god. Why did I do that? That was so risky. <laughs> I just take risks. Who am I? All of a sudden, I am a risky girl. Wow, look at those two just fighting it out. Couldn't be me. One day we will learn how to be amazing at PvP. But for now, we suck at it because we don't like harming people. I just feel bad. And you know, like when they shift at you and it's like, oh god, that breaks my heart. I'm just like, shift, shift. And I'm like, oh my god, yes, I could be your friend. And then they just betray you. Uh, great times. Oh my god, why do I keep making really risky freaking jumps? I don't know. Who am I to take the freaking leap of faith here? Well, look, there's someone there. Oh, it's Sockhead! I'm not gonna kill you, dude! I think I'm gonna go up here. <gasps> A chest. Well. I was betrayed by my own, once again, so. That's enough Minecraft for today. Sockhead, if you're watching this, um, that was mean. Hi! <laughs> As you can see, I am like now in different clothing. It is a different day. Hello. So here's the thing. <laughs> I was doing a gaming thing last night. I was playing Minecraft. So while I was waiting for the video to export, I kind of took a nap, which turned into slumber, you know, the good old sleep, and I fell asleep. <laughs> Next thing on our agenda, don't mind the clothes that is back there because we are going to be doing TikTok videos. Yes, that's what we're going to be doing. You guys can follow along on my TikTok on what I do and stuff because I know you guys are like, why do you take so long doing a TikTok? Well, you will see my whole behind the scenes type of thing. Before we do that, I want to do some other little things beforehand. First, we are gonna learn how to juggle and how to learn to do the splits. I wanna learn how to do the splits. I am not that flexible. Hold on. This is such a weird angle to talk to you from. As you guys know, I am 5'11 and I am not the most flexible person alive. I know, shocker. I am a theater freak, okay? Blame my mom. She never put me in gymnastics when I was little, but she put my sister. Explain yourself. This is me demonstrating that I cannot touch my toes, like, at all. <laughs> oh my god. Now that you guys know one of my insecurities, <laughs> that I can't touch my toes because I'm so freaking tall, um, we're gonna learn how to do the splits right now. Before we start, I'm gonna move that out of the way because that's actually really ugly and that's, I just realized how nasty that was on me. I'm so sorry that you had to see that. Well, you can still see that, but you know, we're just gonna ignore that. That never happens. This is what I do for a TikTok video, by the way. I have mountains of clothing and I'm so lazy to put it back, but you know, when my mom tells me to clean it up, I'm just like, mom, I'm just so passionate about my craft, like, please. <laughs> and I am by no means a workout channel at all. <laughs> so this is gonna be interesting. I never knew I was gonna be doing this today, but. The most important thing before you start is that you bendy and flexible and your muscles are cut out with leg kicks and I do these for about 30 seconds to one minute. Are we done? Uh, can I do the splits now? After you feel ready and warmed up. I'll... So I have to feel ready? There's not a specific number that I need to do jumping jacks? Ready. I'm hearing some cracking, which isn't great. Okay, what now? It is maybe uncomfortable, so really I'm <laughs> in May. Place your elbows and forearms onto the mat. This is pretty 
advanced vegan. Get him? It's totally okay. Advanced? Oh, what do you mean? Your chest towards your knee. Now I can place my chest all the way down onto my knee, but if you can't, it's totally okay. Now, make sure your hips are safe. I cracked something. Did you hear that? Wow, that's not. Feel push it all the way out to almost 90 degrees. The flexible people can really go all the way to 90 and press those hips down again. This Ooh. will. Let's go ahead and go to the straddle. This will help with the middle splits. These are stretches. These aren't the splits right now. That is so sad. I'm seeing myself. Gradually drop my hips down to the floor. Now you may have a ton of 10 seconds, get a little bit uncomfortable, but you can slide all the way down. A little bit. Yep, this is as far as I'll go. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, I cracked something else. <laughs> I'm never doing that again. We are gonna be juggling. You probably like, why do you only have like two oranges and a lemon? Well, you know what? Diversity. I like inclusivity. So, we're gonna try to attempt, attempt, keyword, attempt to juggle. Keyword. Attempt to juggle. Was that a juggle? I don't know. Probably not. That was kind of a juggle. I'm gonna take it and leave it. That's it. That's end of my juggling career here, folks. Okay, we have the little setup here. This is the audio that I'm gonna be using. It's a friend's one. But I'm not gonna do it because, you know, copyright reasons. But, you know, just my little setup here. Now I'm gonna go change into Monica's outfit first, and then Phoebe, and then back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Right now the time is 10.58. Let's see how long this takes us. <laughs> okay, this is what I'm gonna be wearing for Monica's outfit. It's super basic, simple. A lot of her wardrobe is like very basic and simple, so I usually try to stick with that. I don't know, so yeah, this is the Monica outfit. And I'll get back to you guys when I'm gonna wear the Phoebe one, so. Also, tip number one, I always make sure that my first seam that I do is solid. Make sure that it is nice, solid, not just eh, because then the entire video for me will be eh, the experience. So I like to have like my first scene to be nice. So I feel like throughout the entire other scenes that I do, I'll feel like confident. So that's a tip. And if I think they're eh, then I just draft them just in case if I don't have like one that's good enough, so. And I'll see which Phoebe scene I like. Then we will build it off from there and go our way. <laughs> okay, we are back with my Phoebe outfit. She has a very bohemian type feel to her, a lot of color. So I decided to wear these type of rocks that I feel like I've seen her wear a lot throughout the series. So it's like these type of stuff, some rings, very bohemian feel. So how are we feeling about this outfit? I don't know. Let me know when I post this TikTok. <laughs> okay, now this is my very simple laugh track outfit. For example, put on effects, go to favorites. Laugh track. Boom. Ah ha 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 ha. Okay, I have finally finished my TikTok. It is now 1.30 a.m. Sounds about right. So basically, my TikToks take at least the minimum two hours, max six hours. That's how I kind of do my TikToks. I do a bunch of costume chains I didn't show you because I felt like that would have been a lot. <laughs> Just me like, hey guys, I'm back. Hey guys, I'm back. Hey guys, I'm back. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to be doing is baking cookies. Hold on. The woman of the hour. Look at her. Wow. And I know that they're already pre-made, but... Sorry. <laughs> the next time I do a baking video, I promise it will be out of scratch. None of this pre-made stuff anymore. I promise. Preheat the oven to 350. 
got it. I'm already like a pro at this because of my last video. If you guys haven't seen it, goes this oven. It just literally told me to shut up. It was like, okay, dude, sure. You know how to bake, sure. But anyways, if you guys want to go see my first baking video, go watch my first video. That was pretty so par. <laughs> oh my God, these look so good. Like I can literally just like pop them in my mouth and eat them. You're the living crap out of me. I thought that was like a message from heaven saying like, no, don't eat it. Don't eat the raw cookie dough, but you know, still gonna do it, so. <laughs> that is like the worst part of baking. I hate taking things out of the oven because I know I will burn myself. Here's a little close up, come here. Wow. See, I'm not even bored right now. Boredom, who is she? She kind of just left after seeing these cookies. Try this at home. Look at them. Look at these beauties. Wow, let's try one. Boredom, we left. No boredom here. Quarantine, totally forgot we were in it. Wow, the, the flavor is just. Hi, it's the next day, I just woke up, but whatever. In about two hours, I'm gonna be attending a K-pop concert. You're probably wondering like, how the hell are you gonna do that in this economy, in this pandemic? Just keep watching, you'll see what I mean. Um, but I thought, I can't attend a K-pop concert looking like this. Ew. I literally have no makeup on. This is my bare face, guys. It's gross, I know. Um, we're gonna slap some stuff on here and we'll see what happens. We're just, we're gonna go for something a little bit crazy. I'm thinking more of like a euphoria type look. I don't want no, natural makeup no this is a k-pop concert we're gonna go all out we want our k-pop boys to see us from the freaking stage that's like super freaking far away because your girl's broken she got really bad seats all the way in the back but still okay i think we're gonna try for something like this obviously i don't have the stickers so i think we're gonna improvise and like probably put like paint on my face i don't know whatever plus the k-pop concert that i'm going to um their color is red so it's perfect Okay, so I'm gonna be putting my hair back. Great, now I look bald, like an egg. I look like a freaking wevel. If you guys are wondering, this is the concealer I use. It's NARS. Oh my God, can you see that? Wow, <laughs> I'm an actual beauty guru, hello. Wow. Power of makeup, ladies and gentlemen. I am a catfish. <laughs> and then for my eyebrows, um, they're kind of, they're like there, but they're not there, if that makes sense. So we're gonna, we're gonna give them a little bit of help. We're gonna fill them in a bit. Doesn't matter what. I literally use whatever brown I have on strap with me that's dark and I just fill them in. God, I need to clean up my eyebrows, but I'm so lazy. Now we are gonna go in with a lighter brown and we're gonna put it right here. I don't know, that's kind of how I do my eyebrows. Well, it looks like I have pink eyes, so that's great. Um, we'll fix it, we'll fix it. I don't know. Uh, okay, this is my very simple look. I put paint right here, probably not safe, but you know, I still do it like all the time. Now I'm gonna put mascara on and I know you guys always freaking ask me about my eyelashes, so take notes, ladies and gentlemen. This is the only one that I use and I just apply it on my eyelashes and I'm done. I don't curl them or anything. These are my natural lashes. A lot of people ask me that too when yes, they are my natural lashes. Look, I will show you on camera. There you go. There's nothing much to it. Put it on my lips because I look dead all the freaking time. And then I put on some trusty old Carmex. 
Boom. And this is my makeup look for the concert that we are going to be attending. Ah, look at that, I look a little bit alive. Okay, now we're gonna pick my outfit for the concert because there's no way in hell I'm gonna be wearing a hoodie to the concert. This is my outfit. I didn't do shoes because I was too lazy and I'm not gonna go outside. I was also thinking of putting on this bucket hat. Make me look a little bit more edgy. A little more of a K-pop stand a little bit. But I don't know, because it hides my eyeshadow, and I'm like, I worked hard on it, so it's like... But... This is my outfit. <laughs> the concert starts in 30 minutes, and I'm so excited. <laughs> Mommy, do I look cute for my K-pop concert? Yeah. You look amazing. Very cute and ready for a concert. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell if that's sarcasm or not, but I'll take it. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> but this is my light stick. What do we think, ladies and gentlemen? Hello, everyone. We are Super, Super M. M. Even though we are miles apart from each other. Hi, if you're watching this, you have finally made it to the end. Congratulations. Your suffering is over. <laughs> uh, thank you so much if you got this far in the video. Honestly, wow. Um, <laughs> please like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. It would mean so much to me. And yeah, this video is already long enough. So to keep it short and simple, I love you. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs>